Vivian Jenna Wilson, a transgender woman who is 20 years old, is speaking out after Elon Musk declared that she was killed by the woke mind virus. Mr. Musk made this statement. The remark was made by Musk, who is 53 years old, during a conversation with Dr. Jordan Peterson, a psychologist, which was broadcast on his platform X, which was formerly known as Twitter, on Monday on July 22nd. He added, I lost my son, essentially. The CEO of Tesla claimed that he was tricked into permitting Wilson to undergo medical therapy relating to her transgender identity when she was just 16 years old. The term dead naming is used for a well-defined reason. Your son has passed away, which is the reason why they refer to it as dead naming. By referring to Musk's assertion as a lie in an interview with NBC News on Thursday, July 25th, Wilson, who had legally filed to change her name and gender in 2022 when she was 18 years old, contradicted Musk's allegation. According to Wilson, who disclosed to the publication that she declared her sexual orientation for the first time when she was in the eighth grade, Musk knew the full side effects of her medical treatment, which she claims included hormone replacement therapy and puberty blockers. She looked back on her childhood and reflected on the fact that he was there, I want to say, maybe 10% of the time. She acknowledged that the two have not communicated with each other for almost four years. The six children that Musk and his ex-wife Justine Wilson had together include Wilson. In addition, the founder of SpaceX has three children, not just with the musician Grimes, but also with Shivan Zillis, who is also a shared parent. Wilson provided a response on threads to a tweet about Musk, in which he referred to her as gay and slightly autistic, and asserted that she would select clothes from him to wear when she was about four years old and declare that they were fabulous. The all of this is a fabrication, and there is a rationale behind this deception. As part of a lengthy statement, she stated that he does not know what it was like for me to be a child because he simply was not around. I was subjected to unrelenting harassment for my gender and queerness throughout the brief period of time that he was present. It is obvious that he is unable to express it, and as a result, I have been reduced to a little joyful stereotype that he may use at his own discretion. She continued by saying, I believe that reveals a great deal about how he approaches children and queer people in general, 